return to starboard started its work supporting war veterans just over two years ago. The founder, retired squadron leader Sean Pascoe, used to command medical evacuation teams in Afghanistan and Iraq. His idea is to help service personnel who are often physically or psychologically injured back into civilian life. The charity does a lot of sail training, but also sometimes simply provides families with a day out. We had one recently, um, Johnny, and his family, he'd been um, injured in Afghanistan, um, basic, but he'd spent many, many months having surgery and rehab. It's seven or eight months of the year he was away just doing his rehab. So to take that family out there, he hadn't seen his children very much at all. So it, it, you know, quite exciting, and, and they have an amazing time and re-engage, and, and they get something really quite special out of it. The charity's name comes from maritime collision regulations. Ships on a collision course are required to turn to starboard. Volunteers have seen real benefits from simply taking war veterans out on the water. The only way I can describe it that is just full of beauty and serenity, and that's regardless of the weather conditions. It also provides um, the element of camaraderie that we've all come to know and love. In the last few months, the charity has confirmed financial support from Help for Heroes and the RAF charity, Rafa. And it's been given a 42-foot yacht hull by Falmouth yacht builders Rustler. Fundraising to complete it is underway. And this is the spirit of Fairbridge, the sailing ship the charity has just acquired from the Prince's Trust. She's a replica of a Mersey pilot schooner. 92 feet long and with room to take around a dozen war veterans to see. She's not bad for the quid that the charity paid the Prince's Trust for her, is she? Once renamed the Spirit of Falmouth, the charity hopes she'll become known as the port's very own tall ship. David George, BBC Spotlight, on the River Fowl.